Grand Rising, Grand Arrival, Grand Return. Peace and blessings to the righteous and repentant alike. I'm Sophia of the Marikana Band of Indians, and this is your daily transmutation report where we practice manipulating the incoming rays to the earth in a format that best serves our creator. Today is Tuesday, August the 13th, 2024, 6 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, coming to you from the Sunshine State. We have our sun at 21 degrees of Leo. Our moon is at 29 degrees of Scorpio. So definitely into a square energy here. However, our moon is trining Neptune, which is also at 29 degrees, but of Pisces. And we have our moon coming into this more direct trine with Chiron, which is at 23 degrees of Aries. Mercury has still not made it back into Leo, so this is definitely going to take a while. You know, buckle in, get ready. We've got a we've got quite a ways to go before we get into uh, Mercury going back through Leo. Okay, this is a long retrograde season anyway. We have Mars very very close to. Jupiter, I think our conjunction happens tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. This is kind of squaring or will square our Venus, which is in Virgo, um, so also keep an eye on that. Consult your local astrologer for more specific details, okay? We're on day nine of our moon cycle with an 8.7 day old moon. This is our first quarter. 58.5% illumination with a 12.35 a.m. moon set time and a 3.09 p.m. moon rise time. For our astrotherography sun sign decan, we are now into seven of cups energy, which is warning, hope, and choices. We can best transmute this by using the seven of coins, which is joy, positive results, and patience. Through the lens of our 7,000 Aquarius, which is to be detached and open from an emotional point of view. So don't be holding on to the warning, the hope, the choices that these are people are trying to tie you up with. Uh, with. Instead, focus on the joy, focus on the positive results, focus on your patience, but don't be attached emotionally to that either. For our North Node Decan, we are in Two of Wands energy, which is plans, travel, and new ideas. This is our outside influence card. We can best transmute this through our Two of Swords, which is indecision, solutions, and difficulties, which is our intuition card, through the lens of our third house in Libra, which is to learn ways to perceive and offer love. So you need to use your intuition to literally know when to offer love to people and who to accept love from. That's going to be really, really critical in this time. For our Tree of Life yearly progressions and predictions, we are in Mercury energy right now, which is the Ten of Swords. That's sudden ending, failure, and backstabbing. This can be best transmuted through the Ten of Wands, which is no perspective, burden, and accomplishment, utilizing the Ninth House of Gemini, which is to learn how to properly use words and wisdom. So by not holding on to things that don't belong to you and not accepting sudden endings and failure as your final destination, you will be able to, to successfully navigate this very difficult energy that we're going through. So if you enjoy this type of astrology content, please feel free to join us over on YouTube where my handle is Sophia Spiritualite. Thank you for joining us for, day, for today's daily transmutation report. Peace and blessings and we'll see you tomorrow.